Hi guys, welcome back. It's your, your daily pick of cards for November 5th, 2019. I got some little interesting tidbits for you. This was not even shared on the IG video. And this is uh, thanks to Astrological Answers for this portion. The 4th, 5th, and 6th, so Monday, to, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, we have a T-square of Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus, and Leo. The energy is going to be edgy. So for these key signs, you're going to feel edgy. You're going to feel pissy. You're going to feel on, you're going to just don't want to deal with anyone. So if you're feeling this energy, I know I am. And it's not pissy because I'm mad at anything. It's just I'm tired. I've been running around for the past three days and I, I just want some like nice solid sleep. So the moment we tell, we put say out loud. It's not you, it's me. It's just, you know, I'm tired, I'm anxious, I'm whatever. We take the the edge off that energy. So, you know, it won't be, you know, you know, Scorpios, they like they sting because you think of the Scorpio with their tail, they sting you with those zingers. I was married to a Scorpio, so I know. Leo very blunt. Uh Aquarius, same thing. Why are you like that? The question person. Taurus, I guess they hit you with the horns. So just, you know, be very aware of the energy around and just know it's not you. It's just what's going on in the air. So we got that T-square of uh, Leo, Scorpio, excuse me, Aquarius, and Taurus. Another note I want to say is the Wheel of Fortune with uh, my Game of Thrones deck. We have a dove sitting there. And I've always was drawn to this dove. And I didn't know why, but I was really drawn to it. I was doing a pick a card and I looked out the window and sure enough, there's a dove sitting in my backyard. I have two doves that come in and eat together all the time. I have a bird bell out there. So I was like, that's really cool. So I was reading my um, my passages in the Bible that, re that really resonate with me. And I came across these two dove feathers that I had found from the backyard. And I kept them in and I looked up what dove feathers meant. So I wanted to share this with you guys. Doves represent peace of the deepest kind. So when you see a dove, know that spirit is sending you peace of the deepest kind. Soothes and quiets our worried and troubled thoughts. So right now, some of us are on that, 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 that hamster wheel of negativity. So when you see a dove, no spirit is sending you, you know, um, a calmness. It's soothing you. It's like a, a like a parent. When you're, you know, anxious or you're frustrated and you're emotional and you just want to vent. And you know you could go to your, your your parents or those key people in your life that will soothe those energies. So know when you see a dove, that's what they're that's what the universe is telling you. It enables us to find renewal in the silence of the mind. So it it it, it crushes that soundtrack of negativity and allows you to be peace again. That's why I wanted to share that. I thought that was really beautiful. I know I have a lot of you that I've been reading for that have been telling me that you're feeling on edge and anxious. And it's like, you know, it's not you, it's the universe. That's why I share when I watch Astrological Answers, something really speaks to me. I share it with you guys. Give them a follow. They're on Facebook and on Instagram. Astrological Answers. Beautiful. So our first card we have is the seventh chakra, which is Archangel Uriel. And I know a lot of you have been DMing me saying that, you know, these Archangels have been really standing out to you. So... If you they stand out to you, call upon them to help you. I know Archangel Michael stands out for me. One of he's one of our family's main um, angels. So with Archangel Uriel, spiritual connections, intuition, and inspiration. So call upon her if you're an intuitive, a medium, or you just have that intuition. You know when things are going to happen, or you could just feel something, and then people confirm it for you. Call upon Uriel, please continue to awaken my my ears and awaken my eyes and awaken my mind so that I'm able to help heal others. I had one person that I read for said, you know, I have a funny feeling that someone that you told me that uh, is around me, one of my uh, spirits, uh, has been bugging you. And I'm like, yes, for a matter of fact, they have. But I told them that you didn't want to hear from them. And they're like, I would like to hear from them now. So it's so beautiful how that works. Like, it's like I, I told them, I was like, no disrespect, but they don't want to hear from you. You you know, I'm sorry, you need to go on your merry way. And now they, they come back and they're like, no, I want to hear. 
So it's beautiful how that works. And she knew. She's like, I have a funny feeling they're bugging you. I'm like, yes, they are. But I told them, you know, they don't want to hear from you. They got to respect you. And they went on their merry way. So hopefully they come back to for to pass on that message. So if you're real in the reverse, this card reversed indicates a block to your own intuition and to the potential help and power from spirit, the spirit world. So this block may be self-doubt. So when we fear self-doubt or anything negative about ourselves, we put a block in our path. So we can't move forward because we put this barrier there. So this, so one individual I read for, I had mentioned a couple things and I mentioned a lot of things and a lot of them, most of them resonated. Two things didn't resonate. But I kind of got down about myself about this. And I turned to JJ Constellations and I turned to Soul Work, Aaron. And I asked the ladies, I said, listen, I mentioned two things that didn't resonate. And they said, don't worry. Sometimes it's for the future or it just hasn't caught up with them yet. And I'm like, okay, that's true. Aaron had told me about my cousin and I didn't know that it was, they had two sons rather than one. So Aaron was on point. For the longest time. Every time she's done a reading for me. He's come through. And I'm like I have for the life of me. And then I, I asked my mother about it. And Aaron was totally on point. So this lovely person I read for. Came back to me today. And she's like it's like you know. Spirit came and bonked me over the head with a mallet. Said duh look at it. This is what they meant. And she's like it's like it all rings true. She, there's one more thing she's trying to figure out. That doesn't resonate with her. And then everything else resonated. So it, I love that. It's like a Christmas present. You know, it's like here, you know, what you're doing is right. It tells me that I'm on the right path because when I get, when I hear that, not that didn't resonate with me at all. I'm like, Oh, okay. You know, what the heck is going on? You know? So sometimes we block our path by doubting ourselves. and the cards we got yesterday were saying, believe in yourself, look in the mirror and say, I have this gift to heal and I'm going to continue healing. Believe in ourselves. Perhaps you fear opening up to this side of your, your life, or perhaps it's just something that seems foreign or, or real, unrealistic. Either way, it's time to awaken a beautiful and power, the, the, the beauty and the power of this realm. And I know some of you, we've been speaking about, like, you know, our faith in God. And it does speak in the Bible that um, sorcery and mediumship is frowned upon. But if you also read other passages, it says, those that can hear, let them hear. Those that have eyes, let them see. So to me, that is a big, you know, green light saying, you know, this is a God-given gift. And I truly believe that. The gift of sight, the gift of hearing. And it's like, you know, embrace it. And you were blessed with this gift for a reason. To help heal the masses. Because, you know, the prophets, what did they do? They came to heal. We're, we're kind of like a prophet, but it's like we're not prophesizing, you know, the word of God. We're prophesizing his, his works through angels, through fairies, through magic. You know, we also got to realize that the Bible, different editions are written by man. If you watch the show Tudors, they show a significant point that really stood out for me was the king changed the Lord's prayer because he wanted the people to love him. He wanted his, the king to be mentioned in there or the crown to be mentioned in there so the people would remember them while they were praying. So we also have to, you know, keep in mind that, you know, it, it's there to bring hope and wisdom into our lives, but also know that it was written by man. So they're, they're putting their own personal um, um, beliefs into what they're writing. So if they're against gay marriage, they're against abortion, they're against mediumship, sorcery, that's their personal beliefs that they have written in there. So you can't take that all to heart. God made gay people. God made mediums. God, God loves everybody. So don't take that to heart what it actually says in there. Because like I said, again, they're against women wearing pants. So does that mean like, you know, the whole, the earth is filled with how many women and a lot of them wear pants. Are all those women going to go to hell? No, it's just something that someone decided to write in the Bible. You've seen your crown chakra uh, spinning in a beautiful violet and white light. It calls upon Uriel's passion and power to help bring this connection into being. 
Once you open to this incredible peace and power that spirit can bring, your life will never be the same. And it's not. Because you touch so many lives. You bring healing to those that are really needed it. So the next card we have is financial constraint. So this is old fashioned safe. And you can see in it that there's a little bit of coins, a little bit of money on the bottom. So this is my card saying that we have a little bit of financial constraint. There may be a bill coming up, an unexpected expense coming into play here. Or someone's going to reach out and ask for money to ask for a financial assistance. But when we get the man holding a coin, this is my card showing me that this is only a temporary pain. That we have some finances coming into works. It's an unexpected um, um, blessing, an unexpected miracle. So financial constraints, restrictions concerning money. This card shows an old-fashioned safe with little money but lots of cobwebs and dust. Money may be tight at this time. So rein in your spending and be um, be um, mindful of the financial requirements in your life. So you have to defer between your need and your want. You need to pay your hydro bill, but you want a pair of fashionable boots because it's in the Western world coming into winter. But it's like, okay, I understand, especially when it's like, you know, if you go back, they're going to be gone. But it's like, you have to understand right now, you need to pay hydro to keep warm in the winter or put, power your air conditioner, depending where you are. And the boots, you know, you're going to wear them or you maybe, you, you, you know what I mean? They're just going to sit in the closet. So just, you know, get into that mindset that right now we can't afford it and just put it off to the wayside. I know it's hard sometimes to rain and then, but this is what the cards are calling you to do. This is not a time of indulgence. So be aware that what's really important and unconsciously choose your expenditures. There's a big difference between what you need and what you want. This card is telling you to take your, to take care of your needs and be, and and bide your time. Things will get better, but for now, be willing to live more conservatively and allow value and, and always value the money and the good things you already have. So value what's, what's already around you. Use the resources already around you. Um, eat out less. Um, try to, you know, watch what's on TV rather than, um, you know, getting a movie. Like I know it's quite expensive to rent movies through um, your cable provider. So just be mindful of your expenditures. So for me, I think this is a temporary situation because we have man holding a coin. So to me, I believe something out of nowhere is going to come in. An unexpected blessing is going to come in. So that's why it's like, you know, when you get those unexpected blessings, be thankful for when you have them because, you know, it's sometimes we lose sight of them. So I'm going to read the affirmation for this. I can move through any cycle with dignity and awareness. I am open to receiving increasing wealth. Money moves to and through my life, bringing benefits to all. And I've been noticing on my feeds that it's like, you know, money has been moves freely in and out of my life. So just be aware that, you know, this is a temporary set cycle and we'll get through this. So our next card is storm warning. So this might be um, someone's energy. Remember, astrological answer said that November, we're going to be like a magnet out in the world or in, or in our daily lives to be mindful of who we surround ourselves with because we're going to be like a magnet and we're going to be absorbing people's energy. So if they're negative and depressing and running you down, you're going to absorb that energy and it's going to stick with you. So when you go out in the world or in your day-to-day -day life, try to be that light in other people's lives. And just remember when people run you down, that is a reflection of them. That's their frustration coming out towards you. That has nothing to do with you. So this card indicates a potential, di potential difficulty, either in the external world or within yourself or your emotional life. So, you know, again, on this hamster wheel, hearing that soundtrack of like, you know, since you were a childhood, high school, um, adulthood, depending how old you are, of negative thoughts. And just like I said, when people sit there and they, they, they out of nowhere just say a negative comment about you, and it's like it wasn't even called for. 
just remember it's their frustration. It's their, it, that says more about them than you. So don't worry about it. I know it, it's hurtful, but just say, you know what? That's who they are. They're not going to change. And just, you know, try to distance yourself a little more from them. The difficulty is coming close. And you may have already been, heard the rumblings of potential problems around you. So there's two situations to me that stand out. But it's like, you know, just be calm about the situation. Because the more you react to it, it's going to get worse. The caution here is to be to be the caution here is to be conscious, yet not fearful. So be cautious, conscious that you know what's going on, but don't fear. Just keep cool heads. Like they say, calmer um, heads prevail. Consider what's going on and look at the situation with calm clarity. Investigate your options and honor yourself and your intentions. Stand up for yourself and take action on your own behalf. So when I was reading this for IG, I saw someone with clenched fists. Like they were about to get into a fist fight. And Spirit was like, put your hands in your pocket. Don't get into a fist fight. It's not worth it. Always remember you have the power and the wisdom to handle whatever may come your way. And you can. Think calmer heads prevail. Just keep that in mind. So with the storm um, warning, the affirmation is, I have the power to overcome any obstacle. No matter what is going on, I can be strong, confident, and self-directed. And don't think because of Mercury retrograde and all that, that means doom and gloom. It doesn't. Just, just be calm. It's going to be fast and strong and intense. But we'll get through it, guys. And this is the last one of the year. Just keep telling yourself that. It's the last one. I won't have to deal with this for the rest of the year. So the last one is man holding a coin. And this is why I think the financial constraint is only going to be temporary. Because I do believe an unexpected um, blessing of financial, some sort of like financial like win I keep hearing um, will come your way. Male con um, connected in money, health, or value. So this is the upright position. This card shows a man sitting in a lush flower field holding a large bright coin. For men, this can indicate as an aspect of yourself or the readiness of, to go further. Your goals receiving increased health, money, or value in life. Greater success is on its way to you when you take control of your life, your own, your own financials, and act. This card upright also reveals the assistance of financial advisor or healer whom you already know or is soon to meet this man is helpful and may bring sage advice concerning the actions you need to take next be open to this person showing up with support but always turn your on your own into it intuitive guidance sorry to whether the information you receive this card can also signify a, a new love interest with a wealthy man or a man from work. But I also was saying, like, you know, some of us, you know, we do better in life. Like, we marry well. But it's like, don't marry this person because, don't settle for this person because of the wealth. Because that wealth can go at any time and you're going to be miserable. So don't settle. So I'm going to read the affirmation for that, for a um, man holding a coin. I determine my own destiny. I take financial action and I'm re I'm receiving wonderful assistance from those around me. So, you know, spirit is around you to help you and guide you. So don't worry. Like I said, this is going to be a temp temporary setback. And I don't think it's so much a setback. I think it's helping out family. When I lean toward love, I am led. So spirit will guide you. And we were told about geometric shapes here with the Archangel cards. So we got Archangel Minotron. Call upon me to clear and open your chakra using sacred geometric shapes. So we have two with geometric shapes. This is an affirmation card, an Oracle affirmation card. This one here. And then I, it's like a confirmation for me, you know, because I sometimes get pulled to, um, pull the archangel cards and i'm like why but i think it's because since the energy is so intense it's like a calming sense from the angels to just um um give you a sense of peace archangel ezekiel notice the loving guidance you hear inside your mind and from other people and our last card for today is leadership 
Archangel Gabriel, it's time for you to assume your leadership power and position and lovingly guide others. So for some of you, this is you're stepping into um, being an intuitive, a medium, whatever you want to call yourself, a healer. And it and this is a big sign from spirit to take it. We got two signs from spirit, Archangel Uriel and now Archangel Gabriel saying, you know, take a hold of this and call upon us to help you and we will guide you. Be open to this healing power because I was saying like, you know, um, the prophets came to heal the earth and I believe that's what mediums do to heal you to get past that pain that is you need, you know, at that time of your life, what do you need to hear to help you get past that blockage in your life? You keep hitting this roadblock and it's like when you go to a medium or intuitive, they tell you what you need to hear at that time. And give you hope for the future and hope in your life. So that way you're able to move past that blockage. Life is, is hard. It is hard. And those that uh, say, you know, life is easy. God bless. Be thankful that you have such a, an easy, prosperous life. But, you know, do what you need to do. And call upon these beautiful spirits to help you. Because, you know, we need more healers in this world to heal the masses. So God bless. Again, these are your cards for Tuesday, November 15th. 2019. I will be back tomorrow for another pick a card. I hope to see you there.